Is it rolling? Is rolling. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Attacking Toucans and today we're going to be playing Legend of Zelda ROM hacks in Mario 64. Pretty much these are like fan Zelda games that were made in the Mario 64 engine by the uh, community who makes Mario ROM hacks for Mario 64. A lot of these uh, were put together from a competition that the YouTuber Simple Flips did in the past. And I, he made a new website called romhacking.com where he's compiling all of the best ROM hacks. And I saw like a lot of the Zelda ones and I just thought to myself, you know, I like Zelda. I like Mario 64. I should try the games that have them mashed up and just see how they are for a video. So today we're just gonna go and try a lot of those out. I got them all downloaded. We'll talk a bit about the star display program that he um, had developed and it should be a good time. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this first ROM hack, which is called The Legend of Linko. <laughs> Linko, my favorite Lego version of Link. All right, we are into the hack. I'm pretty sure this is actually Link right now. I couldn't tell the difference. He's wearing green. He has a Triforce on his face. It's doing great. Is this supposed to be Majora's Mask? I think so. It looks like the Great Bay is over here. No, the Great Bay is actually chat. I see you, chat. Does the bob -omb tell me where I need to go first? Take a look around high and low. This is my home and I love it. By the way, don't speak to anyone unless you want to ruin your day. <laughs> oh shit. The background music sounds like a mixture of Kokiri Forest made with Mario 64 themes and midis. It's pretty sick. Whoa. Holy shit. Bowser's freaking blue, dude. And he has no pupils. He looks freaky as hell. This kind of gives me Majora's Mask vibes. Oh, pfft. what? The Goombas are Octoroks. <laughs> no, they're so cute. Jesus Christ, the Thwomps are fucking terrifying. Do I gotta throw him into these like lava pits or something? Hey, no. Get toasty. Here we go. Nobody let Cheese see this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me just die. Get me out of here. Let me go back to the levels. I think you found the debug room. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa! There's a bunch of bananas. These are the most low resolution bananas I've seen in my life. And I could not be more pinged with hunger at the current moment. The golden bananas! What the hell? The Yig Yeti Commander. What is this based off of? What? Is this supposed to be like the Yiga Clan? On a train? It is! <laughs> what is this theme? <laughs> Did I just get shot in the asshole? This is like the most unique Mario 64 level I've ever seen. This is their first ROM hack? This level is on a moving train. Give me my red rupees. Holy shit. Does that block over here have AIDS? Unnecessary. Just going. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Oh my god. We're still alive. Get away from me. This level would literally give you nightmares if you played it while on shrooms. Would not recommend. Or maybe I would recommend. I really can't say. Do I gotta beat these guys? Couldn't figure out the boss star, so just collect the start after the fight. <laughs> okay, we gotta put in our due diligence. Whoa, what the hell? This is cursed. So you finally found out the truth of the Yiga clan. The leader is a goddamn banana. And now it's time to peel you a new one. This is the freakiest thing I've seen in my life. You whore. Don't do it. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. I could grab the star right now, but I'm gonna play honestly. I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat the boss first. No, okay, maybe, maybe that's not the best idea. Okay, no, never mind. I'm just going for the star. You know what? <laughs> Am I cheating if I collect the star chat? What do you think? Should I beat the boss? <laughs> Get the star. You you don't want to see the level again, I bet. <laughs> What's in this direction? Course one. I found the first level. Bridges and boxes. He temple and the forest. What is he temple? <laughs> okay, we have a random temple. It's the temple of time. It's all viney. Ooh, I love this track. This is the nighttime feel music from Twilight Princess. What a good choice. Do I jump on that tree? What's up with this? What's going on? Do I get a wall jump up in here? 
Yeah, I think so. So tricky. Nice, we got it. For Narnia! Fuck! Okay, let's go to let's go to Great Bay. Anchor Bay. <laughs> Makes me think of that SpongeBob commercial for anchor arms. The inflatable arms that you can get on. Just... You can get all the ladies. Ew, what is it? What are you? I don't even know what that was. The pirate ship is being run by those weird eyeball blocks. Those things are pirates? This level kind of reminds me of Treasure Trove Cove from Banjo-Kazooie. The weird little islands everywhere. American statistics have reported that driving and attacking toucans at the same time has caused over 14 fatal accidents last month in Bolivia. Oh no, not Bolivia. Whoa. I almost screwed that up. This is a weird ship. Can I go down here? What? This is a huge ship interior. Is that a giant penny? Okay. I didn't realize that I was gonna be forming a new religion right now, but I think we all need to worship this gigantic penny. I can't go back. There's no going back. Once you've entered the pits of Tartarus, there's no going back. Well, rest in peace to all of the red coins I got in that level. <laughs> Damn, this, this, this hack is not treating me very nice. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen this yet, I'm gonna show you something really cool. So on romhacking.com, which is the new website, if I go to my profile, dashboard, uh, or just my profile, you can see it's keeping track of this game, The Legend of Linko. I've gotten one star and it added to my total score. So I've collected eight points on this website so far because I've collected eight stars uh, by playing ROM hacks. And all of that information is automatically kept for us using this program right here, the star display. So this ROM hack has 26 possible stars. So if we get all 26 stars, it'll go to the website and give us 26 points. And if we use save states, it doesn't give you the, the points either. So you can't cheat. So it's really, really damn cool. It's so incentivizing. Random pit. The dragon's keep. The top of the lava crystal. <sighs> okay, this is a really cool level. I'm already digging it. This lava is moving way too fast for comfort, but it's okay. Whoa, look at that barfing dragon over there. He's like barfing inwards though and outwards at the same time. That's some weird movement. Yeah, this is pretty impressive for a first ROM hack. I mean, that very first level that was on a moving train, that was pretty inspirational. Oh, can I, I can kill these guys? Apparently I can as, oh, these, I see what these are modeled after. It's the bullies from Lethal Lava Land. I was trying to think, I'm like, what are these giant cube enemies? How the hell do I get on top of this crystal? I don't know. Oh, oh. It. Okay, it was actually made of lava. But we didn't take damage since we were Metal Mario. That was pretty cool. I like that. Should I go in here? I'm gonna do it. Jeez. How did all of this fit inside that building? Oh. No, I see what happened. This whole entire thing just got deconstructed. It's the same level, but like at a different period in time. Some time travel, whoa. Whoa, now it's winter time. It's cycling through the seasons? Is, do I wanna be here? Is this, is this slide? <gasps> slide level, let's go! The best types of levels. That's your longest sub streak? Oh, thank you. Wait, what the hell just happened? I made it to the star, why did it kill me? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, I I think I'm good on this rum hack for now. I think we should start the next one. <laughs> the next one I have on the list is The Legend of Zelda Attack on Mushroom Kingdom. Ooh, creepy Ganondorf laugh. Not on my stream, whoa. This Bowser looks even cooler. Whoa, we're like evil Toon Link, what? Okay, I feel like I'm about to be blown away by Mario 64 ROM hacks. Oh my God, we're so tubby. <laughs> tubby Dark Link. 
<laughs> this is what Link looked like after quarantine. Gained some weight, smoked a lot of weed, really red eyes. Don't worry about him, he'll be fine. So this is now Hyrule Castle. It's got the green roof. Yeah, he's also a little pale, yeah. Definitely hasn't seen sunlight in a while. <laughs> Poor guy. Whoa, green rug. What, was this a mini golf course? This is kind of cool. Okay, these rupees look way better than the other ones. Whoa, there's link sound effects whenever I jump. These patches getting wild, man. What does, what does Toad have to say? I'm a useless shit toad with nothing to say but useless shit toad shit. <laughs> Fucking shitty shit toads. Good for nothing. Deku scrub! Am I gonna turn into a Deku scrub? <laughs> oh, look at all the rubes, man. Hi, sign. Hi, sign. Rumor has it this shit maze has two stars. Can you get them both? <laughs> the shit maze. We got the shit toads and the shit maze. Oh my god, little the Deku scrubs! Oh my god, these are amazing. Well, this ROM hack was cool until the first level ended up being a maze. This first level is amazing. Oh, it's so astounding. Just kidding. Nah, this level is shit, honestly. I'm so lost. This feels similar to getting lost in Walmart as a kid and then having to go to the front and having them call for my mom over the intercom. Hello, mom? God dang, please blink even once. Am I not blinking? Yeah, I don't need a blink. I have a personal eye wetter. He comes over and he licks my eyeballs every 30 minutes in order to keep them moist and freshened. Did I shave off my eyelids? <laughs> yeah, I was getting kind of tired of them. They were getting too hot, honestly. It's kept all the heat in. Especially when I was sleeping, my eyeballs just got so hot. So I just kind of shaved my eyelids off, so. That wouldn't happen anymore. It'll give you all nightmares before you go to sleep tonight. <laughs> Thinking about shaving your eyelids. What is this? We're in a really shitty maze right now that I can't find my way out of and I'm pissed. This ROM hack was cool until the first level's a maze. Here. I'm leaving this. Why would they start off with a lost maze? Can I go up to this world? You need Triforce power to open this door. Damn it. Is there anything I can do apart from that? Do I truly have the patience to play ROM hacks? That's the question. <laughs> this guy needs to suck it. He won! He won! Okay, I'm moving on to another ROM hack. I have a lot of options. I don't need to play that one. It's causing me too much mental anguish. Okay, let's reset. This is Legend of Mario 64. Has a great logo, honestly. Nice file select. Very good, very good. Oh, cool. Hey, Mario, I'm hiding in the cave up ahead. It's down the staircase at the top of the hill. I have something to tell you, Toad. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We got a distress letter from the princess of the kingdom. Zelda, apparently, Bowser and his troops are trying to take over Hyrule. We need to stop him. I know, right? What a dumbass. And he's not even subscribed to Simple Flips. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to Simple Flips, you are a dumbass. Bowser's taken over a nearby dungeon. I guess those things are just everywhere. The dungeon is locked, so you're going to have to find a way in. Okay, shut up. This guy talks forever. He didn't even give me a sword. Seeing these textures in 3D actually has a kind of cool aesthetic to it. Wait. This is pointing to something. Oh, I got a star. Nice. Hey, look, a star. Ballin'. <laughs> Do you want to save? <laughs> sure. I guess I am kind of ballin', huh? What was on this wall? Oh, it's a giant link. <laughs> oh my god, I just got tackled by a shy guy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a correlation between penis size and intelligence. Go to horny jail? I literally built horny jail. I'm the fucking warden. Horny jail's a bad idea because you lock all the hornies in the same room. You know, now that you say that, horny jail doesn't sound like too bad of a place. <laughs> horny jail is literally just planet Earth. Yeah, I did. Nice. That is five power stars. Ballin'! Can I go in here? Whoa, there's more levels? Grr, Mario, how did you get in here? I even disbanded all of my bob bomb troops so you couldn't do that weird teleporty thing. Well, now that you're here, prepare for traps and tricks like you've never seen. This Ganon guy I met is teaching me a lot about level design. 
Oh yeah, and I found this thing called the Pi Force. Sky Force? I don't remember, but this little guy told me it has the power to rule the world. Isn't that awesome? The princess is mine. Gahaha. <laughs> oh yeah. If you're still searching, the power starts. I hit five more in this dungeon. I don't need them now that I have the guy course. <laughs> Come find me if you can. I'll be waiting. This guy wrote a freaking novel to go along with this game. This music is so intense. It's like Mortal Kombat <laughs> inspired. I've placed some rupees on this platform. I dare you to collect them all and try not to hit your head. And if this challenge is too tough for you, Mario, put a map in this room. But you might be too stupid to read it. Don't gotta call me out like that. I mean, I'm not a cartographer, so... No promises. How does it start? I am kind of too dumb to read this. No, this is this is easy. So we enter, we go to the left. Invisible maze. The worst kind, but we'll do fine, we'll do fine. We did it, let's go. You finally changed your username from Chugga Conroy's biggest fan. <laughs> Sounds like, like, like you're leveling up in the world. You have graduated from being young fanboy. We were all there at some point in our lives. The first username I ever made for YouTube was called Amy Lee Rules. <laughs> Amy Lee was the lead singer for Evanescence. And that's who I named my YouTube account after. <laughs> but not super out there. Where do these stairs go to? Is this a new area? Have I been here yet? Oh, this is like where you get- Ah, oh, I see. This is like the item room where you normally get the bow and stuff. What is this? Danger, get ready for the 4000 IQ super awesome Zelda quiz. I hope you like BS. Solve the five question quiz to find the path through the treacherous invisible pit maze. Each answer corresponds to a symbol, which is where you must jump next to survive. Let's get started. One, how many heart containers does Link need to get the magical sword in Zelda 1? Oh, I need to write these down, huh? I think it's 10, so I think it starts with star. In the first Legend of Zelda, the Famicom version, how would you defeat the Poles voice enemies, the rabbits? Those require the boomerang, right? Yelling IRL. Uh, it's the whistle, that's what it is. What is the major difference between the GameCube and Wii version of Twilight Princess? They're mirrored. Yes, yeah, first one, heart. How many shrines are in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, including DLC? Is it 120? 120, 121 maybe. Which of the following Zelda games does not officially exist? Legend of Zelda Monopoly? Zelda Game & Watch? Legend of Zelda? When none of these exist. Okay, so my first answer was Star. <laughs> Can I jump on Star first? That's not even an option. Okay, I'm going to Spades, I guess. Spades, then hearts. <laughs> well, that definitely was not it. Oh yeah, Zelda Monopoly does exist. I was thinking of video games. Oh, the second answer was Yellen, IRL? Wait, on the original Famicom version? The Famicom version had a microphone and the controller you could speak into. Dude, I had no idea about that. That's really cool. They changed it to a whistle in the US version. Okay, I was gonna say, I remember killing them with the whistle in the game, but I wasn't thinking of the Famicom version, I was thinking of the NES. Can I make this jump? Can I make this? Oh my god, barely. Okay, thank god. I actually really enjoy this hack so far. This is my favorite one we've played tonight. It's had some good puzzles. It has some really fun platforming. Really fun art style. Some cool star locations. Very pleasantly surprised. I think I might have skipped a star, but oh well. Let's get to the end of this. Oh shoot, this is bright. Bum 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 bum. Mario, I hate that name. You've become a big thorn in my side. My plan would have been perfect without your meddling. Oh well. I'll just use the. Did that? I think they literally just copied that from an episode of Scooby Doo. <laughs> Out of my body. I'm rooting for you. Guahaha. Jeez, this has a lot of dialogue for Romac. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, warrior of courage, if you wish to obtain the Triforce, you must pass this trial. As a warrior of courage, 
Excuse me? I gotta follow my heart? I don't have a heart. I'm literally just like a bag of skin. Hmm? Okay. Did he just shock me from down there? Hey, what? No! How did his shockwave get me up there? How high is the hitbox for that thing? Dude, do I get a... Stop it! <laughs> Bowser literally rehearsed a full SNL monologue for this boss fight. Wait, what? Oh my gourd. Okay, well, I might come back and do this boss fight. I think I'm good for now. Let's find a different ROM hack. That's too hard for my smooth-ass brain. Let's find one more. Maybe two. Whoa. It's all flooded. What happened here? I hear the moon music. Toad, tell me the story. What's going on? Who are you? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Look at the sky. Is that the moon? Oh, I see his teeth. This is weird. I see clock tower behind the castle. If that's the moon, that would explain why the water has risen so much. But is it me or is it slowly falling? And where did it come from anyways? It's like our world is merging with a different one. Do you come from here? Whoever you are, please fix this. I'll do my best, Toad. I got you. Dude, the moon is right there. What is, what is the clock tower doing? The clock tower is literally mounting Peach's castle. The toad inside will fill you on on what's going on. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Not expecting this. Hi, Link. As you can see, things are very messed up. A world called Termina is taking over the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, let's see what kind of levels we have. Did they actually, like, pour it in? Snowhead? Inside the cozy house. Whoa! This is sick. Punch, 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 punch. Why do the arrows say go this way? Oh, cool. This is almost like the Ocarina of Time ROM hack, but this is Majora's Mask instead. Can you believe this, bob -omb? He won't open the door because they're apparently scared. I'm scared too, and I'm freezing. Try to knock on the door and you'll see. I can't believe their attitude. So cowardly and selfish. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Who are you? No, I won't open the door. I don't trust anyone here. Okay, well, I'm gonna huff and puff and blow your d It seems like every single one of these hacks has rupees for the coins. It's cool how they all did that. I'm not sure if that's, like, difficult to program in. Okay. Creeping through the chimney. Okay. Do I gotta beat you up for not letting me in? Who are you? Why are you here? Well, I'm scared. What? You want to use the cannons? F fine, I guess. B by the way, have you been to the fairy fountain yet? Dude, the fairy fountain? We're gonna go see some titties. There, the cannons are open now. Thank you. Music note? What song is this? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was pure. I want to go up the mountain. Mari, what? Who are you, Link? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everything has gone crazy. I was minding my own business in bob -omb Battlefield when all of a sudden the world started merging. And now, there's this huge moon over our heads. Not chill. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yep. I opened it. I'm a king. Can I just go to the middle? Yeah. We got past this. I was about to say we got past the suckers, but then he knocked me off. No. No, I can totally fit through there. What are you talking about? Bull. I'm just gonna come off to the side over here. Look, it's a party. Chain Chomp! Why are you blocking my girl's ass? Hey, girl. How you doing? I've heard that in this fairy fountain, supposedly if you stand right in the center, something magical happens. What you gonna give me? Whoa! Teleport! Are we... Oh, I see. It just gave me the the vanish cap. Is that what this is? 
Yeah. Oh, we can get the wing cap. I think that's what we need. Okay, that's one way to give all this to me, I guess. Okay, now that we got the wing cap, what does that change? Apart from the fact that we can fly around this this whole entire area now. Can I fly inside the, the temple? It seems like that's where we need to go right now. I just realized how much this temple and bob on Battlefield have in similar. Whoa, how am I going to do this? This seems hard. This is really stressful. Dang it, they're slippery too. Okay, this is this is cool. I want to look around a little bit more though and see what it, well, at least one more hack looks like. No, okay, <laughs> that's too much. Different hack. I'm ready for a Bingo Rom hack. Okay, this one starts off different. Oh, there's a NES. Things to know, collecting a star will not boot you from the level. Five stars to find. Jump on the NES to begin. Where does the door take us? Okay, I'll listen to instructions. Whoa, that's cool. Triforce shard. Oh, this is based off of Zelda 1 again. If you kill all of the enemies in a room, something good may happen. Okay, bet. Let's kill some gooms. Whoa, this is act. Ooh, we got the key. This is an actual straight up just like Zelda 1 dungeon, pretty much. This is super cool. Key? Thank you, Dad. And, oh, here it is. Whoa, they actually made you like go underground. Neat. This is a really good recreation of the first temple. I wonder how far the recreation goes. And who do they use as the boss fight? And will I ever get out of this small little room? <laughs> Find out next time. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. This was a really fun stream. It was really cool just going through and seeing so many Zelda ROM hacks like back to back and seeing all the cool challenges and stuff that people came up with. I would say my favorite ROM hack that I played tonight was the one that was also based off of Legend of Zelda 1, where there was also like the outdoor segment with the waterfalls. I thought that was pretty sick. Um, but yeah, if you want to play ROM hacks yourself, go to the website in the description, romhacking.com. You can follow the instructions there and get started on playing Mario 64 ROM hacks yourself. There's over 1,200 to choose from, so you'll be playing Mario 64 games till the day you die, and you'll get points and go up on the leaderboards for doing so. Also, leave in the comments what ROM hack you thought was the best out of all of these ROM hacks. I'm curious to know about your opinions. And we'll probably come back and play more Zelda ROM hacks in the future. This video was pretty much just to go over a lot and just get like a general overview of what some of them have so we can go back and like play some of them for real once we find the good ones. Anyways, I recorded this video on Twitch. If you want to catch me live, follow me on twitch.tv slash attacking toucans. And also make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the button to help me out. Thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Anyways, you guys are sexy. Just keep staying sexy. Drink water, eat healthy, get good sleep, go on walks, get some sun, and spend time with your friends and family. All right. You guys are awesome. Much love. Keep spreading the love. Love for everyone. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.